Hello there and welcome to another tutorial in Maya. Um, in this tutorial I would like to show you an entire pipeline um, of modeling, UV mapping and texturing um, inside Maya. Also what we're gonna do, uh, we're just gonna show you a little bit of Photoshop how to create a tiled texture um, so you're not gonna have a problem with, uh, with seams and uh, this sort of stuff. Um, to do that, uh, I would like to show you that like the model which I pick up, it's really really um, easy, and uh, we're gonna like kind of model this one really really quickly. Um, to do that, we're just gonna just quickly deconstruct what we what we gonna have to use to create this model. What we see here is just one cube, second cube just over here, third one over here, and obviously for each leg, it's just one cube. So to do that, let's get started. Uh, we're gonna start with one cube uh, shading mode. Just pick up, um, just scale it, make it bigger, and just squeeze it to make it a bit thinner. And um, to change between uh, each tool, as far as you use, uh, maybe you don't know, it's a Q W E R, and it's gonna be kind of really easy. Control D or C Command D to duplicate the model, and just. Duplicate this one, move it over a bit higher and uh, make it a bit more fat, a bit more thicker. Duplicate again, move duplicate up, make it thinner and just scale it a bit, a bit to make it a bit bigger. Just pull it down. Just um, Bring the the picture as your reference. Just have a look if the distance is more or less right. Doesn't need to be perfect, as we can know each furniture can be different. So don't worry about that. Just gonna make it a bit smaller. Um, now we're gonna take the first cube. We're just gonna duplicate that. And just resize it a bit, scale it with the um, y-axis press space to go to um, four, uh, four different cameras and choose the top one just select uh, the, the our leg just move it over to the place where it should be Go back, just pull it up, just scale it again. Scale it. As we can see now, uh, we're getting we're getting there. Um, just move it just a bit more. To create this leg, I like this really nice line, a bit round. Um, we're gonna have to add some edges, so we can go here. Is that the edge loop tool? Just double click on this icon, or just click on this box over here. Uh, what we're gonna need? We're gonna need three edges, and uh, use equal multiplier. And just insert three edges. Now we're just gonna select those two, double click on on one edge and uh, shift hold and double click on another one. And just pull it up in the, on the side. And now again. Now what we what we need to do is just double click again, just make it one uh, one, and insert on the middle over here. Now just select the edge what we inserted, and just make it like a bit to don't make it like like look it square. 
square it should just make it nice line over there yep and we done it this one can be a bit thinner and um, now what we're gonna do we're gonna need to select this edge sh uh, shift hold and double click the bottom one and this is supposed to select all this edge for us and this is what we're gonna do in all of them all four this one and now we're just gonna edit mesh in the polygon tab and bevel and here we're just gonna go to bevel bevel input and change the offset to 0.3 this is gonna give us like three actually we can go here bevel to 0.2 that's gonna give us like a bit better view now we're just gonna duplicate this one go to the top view just move it over on the side get more or less the same dis distance select two of them command G or control G to group those now duplicate those two if we are gonna see we are now in the group our pivot point is on the middle of the scene now just Take the scale and make it minus one on X plus X axis are here and just press enter. And this what what you see gonna give us duplicate on the other side. Nice. Um now if we're gonna go on preview, we're gonna see this is this draw is a bit smaller. But don't worry about this, we're gonna resize it soon. Um, actually, you can do it now. Just select both of those, like all of those, and group them. Now we can resize them and just select those and just put them down. Now we can see this this table looking a bit better. And what is still wrong with this with this model is that here, if you can see those edges, and over here they are beveled, so they are kind of soft. Just here we can see the sharpness. So we have to what we have to do? We just going going select this model. We're going to bevel and uh, go to offset make 0.2 you can see it's looking much nicer and this one as well just go to bevel make it 0.2 and straight away you can see the difference also what we can see this one is supposed to be a bit thinner No, it's a bit thinner, just pull it down a bit. Can look one more time. And this one needs to be a bit thicker. Pull it down, get a bit, a bit thicker. What we see now, now this one looks look much better. Actually, the legs are supposed to be a bit more inside of on the on the sides, so just a bit more like like that. So, but don't worry about those ones. Just gonna just make it this one. Okay, the, this one looks fine. And our model looks okay without what we need one more, one more thing is just this kind of small cube over here. So with this with this one we just can actually we should we just gonna take this one, duplicate this one, 
Just pull it up, resize it a bit, make it smaller, like smaller, and then just make a cube from that. Actually, that's not gonna work really well for us. So just let me, it's gonna be faster to create just normal cube. Go on the, on the front view, make it like kind of match with the geometry. Bring it back. Bevel this one, make the bevel like 0.3 or so, 0.3, just make it a bit smaller, and then pull it back. 